I'm in a new province and I just finished up the league with Shinigaze's red green ramp deck. I'm really glad I got to try out a strategy that uses all of these looting effects alongside a tilling tree folk and also Dominaria's Bayloth Gorger. As always, you can ramp into huge creatures in whatever match you want by clicking on the timestamp in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the league. Um, we have turn one faithless looting, so I might keep that. Um, if we hit a forest, we definitely want colony heart expeditions. And crop rotation will help us fix our mana later if we want to. I think where we actually are cheating on mana a little bit, just a good Faithless Looting pitching one of these ramp spells we might not need, or even just a big threat we can't cast is probably fine. So I'm going to keep. Let's see what happens. Ash Barons just raw. Raw Ash Barons. This is raw. Well, a land we don't really care about, so that'll be a good pitch to Faithless Looting here. We kind of only want Sajiri Step in our deck. All right, that's not great. I'll probably keep this Firebolt because they might cast a Tireless Tribe, and I can at the very least cause them to pitch some cards. Um, and I think I do want my third land, so if things go real badly, we can at least uh, flash this back. So I actually think I'm going to pitch two Sakura Tribe Elders here, and we'll pass the turn. So much Buscemi. <laughs> So if you're wondering out there in replay land, um, the reason the chat has popped out is because, oh, okay. The reason the chat has popped out is because I'm hoping it will resolve the moto moving everything awkwardly issue. All right, cool. So we are going to hit our third land drop on time. We're going to be able to commit this colony heart expedition and our opponents on some kind of control deck. So we've got to hopefully be able to just battle through um, all of their counter magic, which might not be simple. Um, Aloft Gorger. Okay, that's going to be kind of nice. So let's, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this Colony Garden going. Um, so we'll do this. Put a counter on it. And run out our Sakura Tribe Elder. It might eat a counter spell or something. Nope, they're probably going to throw some removal at it. But we can sacrifice it in response. So no F6ing here. They're going to alchemy, probably. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buscemi boy. So we have to sacrifice this to go get our other green mana. So unfortunately, this Bailoth Gorger might eat an Edict effect. We're not super happy about, but it's not the worst thing that can happen. What's up, fellow kids? That's my favorite Steve Buscemi meme, I think. So if we're lucky, Bayloth Gorger won't eat an Edict effect. I think they were fine with us doing this. Um, I don't know what they're... Yeah. Don't really know why they're tanking. I'm glad to have this Firebolt. Two crop rotations with no relevant targets. Not exactly what I was hoping for. So I'll play this land. I mean, you know what? Like, we're so close to just being able to sack... Like, we could crop rotation for a Karoo, which would get us up to what? So we'd have to sack a land, return a land, so that actually doesn't do anything. Um, so I think I will just run out Bailoth Gorger, a la mode. I bet they'll counter. Well, they, they've obviously got counter magic or, uh, or a removal spell here. I've never played against this deck without just 100 counter spells or a bunch of removal. <laughs> I'm going to let it go, so I imagine Chainer's Edict next turn, maybe Alchemy here into Chainer's Edict next turn is what we should expect. I'm not going to crack this right away. Well, I guess we have some good 7 drops. Maybe I should crack it, especially where we might be flashing back Chainer's Edict next turn. Or sorry, we might be uh, flashing back Fable Saluting next turn. Yep. Our opponent is going to continue to do so much, and by that I mean nothing. It's not a big deal. Like We don't have to hold on to this to enable other Colony Heart Expeditions either. And two red mana is often enough, so that's why there's only two basic mountains in the deck. Let's get a couple of forests. Enjoyed playing against blue black control. I I don't mind playing against it. It's uh it's not the worst. I'm happy to. Ha Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's start resolving Orox herds. <laughs> so we'll try to cast one of those. <laughs> The value. <laughs> Opponent probably giving it a read. But at least they won't be able to teachings or whatever here if they do counter it. Okay, sure. 
But can you counter the second Aurochs herd? Oh, yeah, that's bad news for elves, man. Definitely bad news for elves. I'm not super hopeful for this deck. Like, I think it's cool. I think it's interesting. And I'm glad to try out a new card. Always. Well, it looks like we'll get an opportunity to actually resolve an Aurochs herd, which is nice. <laughs> Just one, but we will get to resolve it. Uh, maybe we won't. <laughs> We'll probably try. One, two, three, four, five, six. See if they've got another hard counter. If they spend all day hard countering these Aurochs herds, then we might be okay. We might be able to sneak a Crusher down at some point. I'm going to hold on to this Firebolt because we might want to pitch it to this faith one of these Faithless Lootings. And it could be relevant to like kill a Muldrifter later when they're trying to win. Um, And here comes Gurm Daddy. Probe, eh? That's not good. We'll probe successfully. Good thing one of these cards is Firebolt. Oh man, Blue Black Reanimator is such a cool deck. One of the decks I haven't had the pleasure of playing yet. I probably could have for like one of my net benefits streams. I think it's gotten up there in uh, in challenge results, so I probably could have. I really like to. I think it's a really cool deck. So we'll discard like that. And yeah, we got nothing going on. Opponent's got five cards in hand. <laughs> we draw a search for tomorrow, so we don't really need that. Um, I'm going to flash back a Faithless Looting. Yep, we definitely don't need any of these. So we'll pitch two search for tomorrows, make our land drop, pick up a forest, and flashback Faithless Looting. So our opponent probably pretty happy to see this here. Ah, uh, there's a Rolling Thunder. So I'm going to keep that. We have Tilling Tree Folks and stuff like that. Hopefully they don't have more discard next turn. This is a way we could kill a Gurmog Angler too. Or them. <laughs> Just resolve a couple of these. So we'll hold on to it. Hopefully they don't have another Kicked Probe. That would kind of suck. Looks like Gurm Angler's coming. I'm going to leave up Counter Magic and Removal. We've seen two hard counters already. Maybe this will be something like Remove Soul or not Remove Soul, but that other one. All right. Ooh, Greater Sandworm. That's a pretty good blocker for the Skirmag Angler. Um, hmm. I don't know if we want to wait or not. Maybe we do want to wait, because casting this is pretty big game. They do have discard. Um, I kind of think they're going to try to get back their Muldrifter here, so part of me just wants to remove this Gurmog Angler and give them a turn... And then again, they can just get Gurmog Angler back. So instead of letting them do that, I think I am going to cast this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Resolve. <laughs> it's pretty good Gurm Angler blocker. I imagine it's going to eat some kind of Edict or Doomblade or something. Yeah, it's uh, it was around a little while there. I, I remember the Discord had a lot to do with brewing it. I think I had just kind of come into the community at the tail end of tuning it. I think people had sort of, you know, thought that they had gotten it to where they wanted it. I think they, yeah, so there's the soul manipulation. I'm glad I didn't try to kill this angler because they could have, on the following turn, they could have soul manipulated the um, sandworm and then got back their angler that we killed with Rolling Thunder. Now they do get a mull drifter. <laughs> There are downsides. Yep. Um, let's just hope they don't have a way to interact with this. If we draw an untapped land, we can kill both, which is nice. We are the control deck now, opponent. We've also got less cards in our library than they do. Pretty impressive. Search for tomorrow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm... Yeah, I think it's best that while they're tapped out, we just rolling thunder the Skirmog Angler. One, two, one, two, three. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six afterwards. So we can't even search for tomorrow. We can suspend search for tomorrow. Yeah. So let's let's rolling thunder this angler correctly first. So we'll go like this, and we'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then one, two, 
three, four, five, six. No, actually. So we just want to kill Angler. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's kill Angler. <laughs> oh hey Tabuli, what's up? Yeah, you're the uh you're the deck builder. Yeah, it's uh they've got six cards in hand. We're about to get this search for tomorrow suspended. So hopefully they don't have another way to get back their Gurmog Angler, and we will do what we can to get back one of our big threats. Maybe we'll draw a pulse of Marasa. Be kinda nice. And we can flash back firebolts to kill these mole drifters. They're not a pulse of Marasa deck, so once we deal with their threats, at the very least they're gone. Uh, they might have found additional anglers more mulch drifters kind of suck but at least we can kill them <laughs> firmly <laughs> we will we will dab on them somehow we'll dab on them with something all right so search for tomorrow we'll tick down what do we draw only hard expedition so we can hold on to that for another one of our um one two three four Five. We can hold on to that for another one of our faithful salutings if we ever run into one. And we'll pass the turn. So down goes Mull Drifter. They might just, uh, if they have more soul manipulations, they might just soul manipulation it back. They're going to alchemy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Victory achieved. We dabbed on them. Our opponent is going to go digging. And we'll kill this other Mole Drifter. We just have to basically, like, we have to keep their threats off the board <laughs> until they're, like, discarding to hand size and then hope they can't find another Angler. Some of these decks only run one or two. And another Rolling Thunder will take it out. We also have blockers for it. We have creatures that are big enough to block Anglers. So we have a few outs to that. It looks like they found one. No, just another Drifter. Okay. So we can hit another one of those. It kind of sucks <laughs> throwing rolling thunders at mole or throwing firebolts at mole drifters, but Let's see what they find. Ponder, pretty strong find. It's interesting that our opponent is on Ash Barons with their deck. I'm uh I'm used to like evolving wilds, and even more than that, I'm used to just more tap duels because their their late game is so powerful. We have a we'll have a chance here. We'll have a chance to resolve another threat. Or, like, something big. <laughs> something big. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So we'll kill another Mole Drifter. And they probably know that we're not doing anything with our hand. We'll get back a mountain. We have seen a good amount of lands. That was the first thing I did uh, to Bully. I know it's... Uh, it's game one. Match one, game one. Chat open, so... Oh, no. Well, at least they didn't get our firebolts, right? <laughs> Just wait, you're still... <clears throat> Alright, we go to eight. No graveyard for us. There's the ponder. <laughs> Just wait until I get a threat. <laughs> yep. Yep. So our opponent is like living the blue black dream here, doing the blue black clinic, killing with uh, a couple loggers. And if this is a an angler, then that might be it. <laughs> also be okay. I I don't know if I want to show them pulse because they might play around or they might play their bazooka bogs more intelligently. I think we can expect a little bit more graveyard hate next game. Doesn't matter if they see these cards. Otherwise, I probably would scoop here. <laughs> Hey man, a well-placed Rolling Thunder? <laughs> Orox Herd, unfortunately, is not going to do it. We can block here and take four down to four. They've already seen Orox Herd, so let's see how... No, they have Chainer's Edict in hand. So Edict will eat the Orox, and they'll attack for more than eight. All right, cool. So let's just have a quick look. We should be expecting pretty, pretty common black control shenanigans so yeah so that's gonna be that game <laughs> get you next turn duelist <laughs> i don't want to show him a thing because he might play better 
maybe yeah maybe did i say play better that's probably incorrect so i don't know i don't know if this is a pyroblast matchup i it must be i guess if there is one i think pyroblasts are supposed to come in over lightning bolts and kind of slower matchups when we're the slower deck but we're definitely the faster deck here so how do we speed up a bit we could probably drop the tree folk that's probably a little bit too cute drop a tormenting voice because it's a bit risky against counter magic um we could go up the penumbra spiders for their edict effects and just to be other threats i'm pretty good with pulse of Marasa against a removal deck and um faithful salutings and firebolts are good <laughs> yeah play as bazooka bogs more intelligently <laughs> <laughs> take out colony gardens no i can't take out lands i t i did i did trim to one colony garden i i trimmed lands that was one of the things i was like i gotta be a true popper player and just cut a bunch of lands uh roll i don't know that we'll tap out for rolling thunders very often i think these are for faster decks oh colony heart oh yeah i guess you're i yeah i agree so we well let's keep the rolling thunders in um i kind of i i trimmed the ramp down too it's pretty tough tree and probably call me what do you mean by tree tilling tree folk all right so okay madman idea i'm it's just where i'm pretty light on ramp as it is um but i'll trust you i'll take out <laughs> yeah, it's already gone. <laughs> Negative 15 lands for 15 cyborg cards. Whoop. Whoop. Just kidding, Moto. <laughs> uh, we want our pulses. Maybe even just one Penumbra Spider. I don't think they're on, like, Geth's Verdicts and stuff like that. Although I think it is pretty okay against their deck. There's Mull Drifters and stuff like that. So... Hmm. What else is slow? Maybe Crop Rotation. It's a little bit too risky. We'll try it like that. It is good with uh, Sajiri Step, but... I think having Penumbra Spiders for their Edict effects is better. All right, so we get to suspend Search on turn one here, and we have a sideboard card. We're a little ways off casting these other spells, but we can get our red mana to start Faithful Suiting, so I'll keep this. Yeah, doesn't seem too bad. I probably could have taken out the other crop rotation. Probably think about that next time. So we'll play a Forest and play or suspend the Search for tomorrow. And that should line us up pretty well. We can cast a Relic next turn, even if we don't draw land. And then once we get our red mana, we can start looting to hopefully hit land drops. Yep, pretty strong turn one. Yeah, that's true, actually. It's, yeah, it's pretty much only good in that case against this deck. I guess, like, pro black <laughs> is a combination of famous last words it's uh it's tough i haven't played this deck a ton you know so it's uh it's one of those awkward coincidences where um i really wanted to play a deck with a new card as opposed to like a net deck for possibly popper playable this week um but luckily um shigazane had who is mco to in the chat they had kind of their take on land ramp with bailoth gorger so i was like let's let's give it a spin it's got a new card so that'll tick down. We will cast a Relic of Progenitus. A little unfortunate with that we didn't hit a land. But once we can get these Faithful Slootings online, we should be just fine ramping out. So we'll start doing that next turn. If I didn't have Relic in hand here, I probably wouldn't have. Controlling our graveyard from the beginning of the game is good because of Angler. We're probably kind of bad against Angler. We want to be able to cheat out a Sandworm by the time that's relevant. I took I took three of the lands out <laughs> because this is popper and we cheat on lands in every deck. <laughs> That's just how we do it. <laughs> so I imagine our opponent's going to cast another cantrip here. Not really worried about what they'll do with that one blue mana. <laughs> no more typos in the group chat. <laughs> Spinning if we ate what? <laughs> All right, we find a pulse. Not great, but it will synergize well if we get this sandworm in the graveyard. 
So let's Faithless Looting. We do find another land. I think these Firebolts are fine eating the first Angler, so... Or sorry, the first Muldrifter. So I might pitch both of these to keep Faithless Looting. We're pretty far off of these creatures, so even pitching one to sort of bait the Bajookabog and like have them have a slow turn next turn would be okay. What's up to Generate Gang Geek? Yes, you are all very fine people. I might need to cast this next turn, so I think I'm gonna ca I'm going to pitch Firebolt and Firebolt, and we'll play Aspires with no target and pass the turn. So depending on how they play this turn, like if they put a bunch of stuff in their graveyard, I might just crack this, but we'll see. I kind of wait until I kind of like to wait until it can eat an edict or something like that. Purposefully not giving myself a pulse target. <laughs> All right, there's a Colony Heart Expedition. That's not the worst thing. So let's see if we can run that out. I'm okay pressuring their mana here because I think they want an alchemy. This is one of our better ramp spells. All right, cool. They're all right with that. So we will Faithless Looting. And they are going to counter that. Okay, sure. So I guess we played appropriately. We'll pass the turn. Plane Chase EDH. Man, two, two formats that I'd love to play, and I'm sure I'd love it even more to play them together. That sounds fun. Our opponent also playing glacially slow for turn, <laughs> turn three of this match. All right, so we have to... These next few turns are important. We have to continue kind of pressuring our opponent's mana so that they can't dump a bunch of stuff into their graveyard and cast an angler. This could be alchemy to make us want to sack this relic to get rid of it so that their first edict sticks around long enough for them to flash it back, but I don't really know. Let's time it up for sweet victory. <laughs> All right, Colony Garden, we'll tick up. And we're going to try to resolve a Penumbra Spider here. Like I said, we don't want them dumping a bunch of stuff in their graveyard, so... Let's try to Penumbra Spider. Pretty okay if their plan is Edicts. It makes using Relic a little less risky. I guess we have a bunch of graveyard value. Probably don't want to get rid of, but... When times is tough, times is tough. This will give us a pulse target as well. Looks like they are going to snap off the Soul Manipulation. Yep. Sure. So we'll do this. I don't want them to have some kind of like instant speed or like untap land into angler or something like that. Yeah, so they're pretty close, pretty close to having some good turns here. And I'm glad that soul manipulation would have hit that besides anything else. We've really got to hit a land here. So I think what I'm going to do is I will attempt a crop rotation, see if they want to counter this. We want to go get evolving wilds here. Get evolving wilds. Trigger. Yes, and I guess there's no reason to sack it now. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter, so we'll just pass. There's no reason to sack. Being wary of our faithless lootings in the graveyard. I feel like we're not, like, where we're so low on the ramp right now, we might not find as many... Um, like dead ramp cards so this might be one of those matchups where okay they're gonna alchemy sure so we'll see what goes into their graveyard we do want to eat about as many of these as possible and we don't want them to hit Gurmog angler next turn so it's probably time to snap off this relic even though yeah. I'd like to cast this Pulse Marasa. But, yeah. Alright, so they pitch a Gurm Angler and a Mole Drifter. And a Disfigure. They could be lining up for another Soul Manipulation. It's tough. I could want a Pulse Marasa here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so they're going to have tons of Angler mana. I just, I can't let them get... An angler on board here so we'll sack relic 
Losing a good amount of our own graveyard value. We'll see if they want to do anything about that. No. Okay, cool. A little bit more ramp. So your turn. Still no angler for you. They will get to start resolving mole drifters. Yep. They're going to probe. Okay. So we'll sack this. Go get a forest. Yep. And Sac Colony Heart Expedition. Get some more lands out of our deck. And we're going to cycle this Sandworm. Because we, we're okay with it being in the graveyard for Pulse Marasa anyway. And I would rather see another card than just have to pitch the Sandworm to try to get it back. Okay, cool. I'm okay with letting go of a Gruel Turf. So they're going to draw some cards. If they hit their land drop, they don't have to discard a hand size. <laughs> Which kind of sucks, but we'll see what happens. They can filter for whatever they need. It's not like Delver that only has counter spells. Yeah, true. These guys do have a lot of answers to what we're doing. All right, so our turn. Additional pulses. I think we're going to fire one off while they don't have an opportunity to interact with it. I guess we can go get land and then bounce land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because we also need land. So hopefully they don't hit us with another probe here. It was a little risky. But uh, it is what it is. So we'll get Gruel Turf. Gain some life. Hey, Scrub Lord. How you doing tonight? Glad to have you. Um, I can see a Smoldering Spire is actually becoming relevant, but we have to pick up an untap land to make sure we hit our Sandworm on time. So we'll grab Sandworm, and yeah, I just hope they don't have additional discard. F6 straight through here. If they want to kick another probe, that's also not the end of the world, but it kind of does suck. Just getting that countered this turn would have been worse, I think. Angler, okay. Get some counter for our big stuff. So we'll play a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play out Sandworm. We'll hold on to Orox Herd. We'd rather this eats counter magic than this, because this goes and looks for more copies of itself. So see if they'll let this go and use a removal spell on it next turn or something. Ah, oh, brutal. I uh, I wish I wish I was a good uh, LGS person. Like I don't I don't go nearly often enough. One, two, three, four, five, seven. I guess I can edict it. Flashback edict. That's a little brutal. But we're kind of looking to resolve Orox herds now until the end of the game. Which who knows when that will be. So let's try to cast an Orox herd. One, two, three, four, five, six. See if they have counter magic. We have just seen the one soul manipulation. If this resolves, it's great if this resolves because we can just go get another one. No. All right. Sure. So let's cycle our tranquil ticket, see what we find. Oh, that was pretty good drawing for our opponent. They kind of had everything we didn't want them to have all at the same time. <laughs> but if they didn't have hard counter there, they only had two cards in hand. Gets worse matchup. On to the next. I'm not ready to give up yet, man. Got lots of blockers for this angler. Oh, hey, it's Steve. He'll save the day. Oh, yeah, Steve. Steve. <laughs> Wait until they got a flashback that Chainer's Edict on a Sakura Tribe Elder. Feels good, man. It is Edict Protection against, like, if we find another big threat and they tap a bunch of stuff here. And they can't counter this or an Orox Herd, so we gotta draw an Orox Herd. <laughs> a Number Spider, I mean, it's not great, but... So let's try to run out of Sakura Tribe Elders, see if they have any intention of countering. Don't. I think that just kind of screamed bait. So we'll try to cast this. They let it go. All right. It's a good blocker. A little sad to have lost our pulses like that, but it's also good gift fodder. 
You want to edict it here? Buy us enough time to maybe find a creature big enough to do something about these anglers. And we saw their Doomblade go. This deck plays fewer Doomblade effects than you'd assume, probably. Because Gurmog Anglers turn into pretty good Doomblades eventually. <laughs> We're going to take 10 here. Yep. You're going to want to remove our creatures. You're going to have... We're, we're not going to jump until absolute last minute. There's a bog, so we don't really care about that now. Yep. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So let's go to combat. We'll attack with Steve. So they have to have two removal spells or more next turn to get around this. They've got the Edict in the Graveyard, but I'm not that afraid of that. Let's just pray they don't have another hard counter. Big old Bailoth boy. Come on. Money. Went 4-1 at Locals, but I dodged blue-black. Oh, man. We got the Bailoth Gorger down. They got the Doomblade. Dang it. But they only have one card in hand. They're going to preordain. Pretty good way to find cards that are good when you only have one card in hand. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I've got to say, too, like, I do feel like I got relatively unlucky here. I'm going to flashback Chainer's Edict. Okay, so we will... Sack my number, Spider. Merfolk deck? We're even hearing about Merfolk decks. Holy Hannah. <laughs> Lost to Affinity, had two nut draws. Mm -hmm. Mono Black, Orzhov Midrange, Delver, Affinity. Well, man, if we can take out Delver. Um, oh, it doesn't. If, so I'm not going to block here, because if we do, then we're still dead to a removal spell next turn anyway, so... Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's go, Steve. Let's go. <laughs> Play Steve's. Find big stuff. <laughs> We're only gonna block with one Steve next turn. If they if they give us the if they allow us the privilege of only blocking with a single Steve. So they might be doing a math here. They might be like, do I still win? Do I still get to edict them into oblivion? Oh, uh, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Opponents on the perfects. Wow. That was... You know what, though? You know what? I honestly do think they got pretty lucky there. Like, that was pretty crazy. They have exactly enough mana. Like, yeah. Just unfortunate. But that's it. So, match two, game one. We won the die roll. We'd love to play first. Um, yeah, so we'll go fetch red mana. We don't have any ramp, and we got big creatures. So, how close is this to a mulligan to six? I guess not that close, because we can Faithless Looting on turn two. Just pitch these big boys and look for something more relevant. We do have a Lightning Bolt to interact if it's a fast deck, so this actually isn't that bad. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the Discord. People helping each other brew decks. I'll need suggestions every now and they'll be like, Hey guys, I don't understand this card at all. Help, please. <laughs> And of course, you get live notifications whenever I'm going live. All right, so this looks like slivers or boggles. Next turn would play out considerably differently. Well, probably not now. So I'm just going to suspend a search for tomorrow and leave up our bolt because I have a feeling this is slivers. So if they commit a lord, I really want to be able to lightning bolt it. And if it's like a soul sister or something like that, I wouldn't mind lightning bolting that either. Pretty happy to have a Rolling Thunder in hand for this. <laughs> Pitch Crusher. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is Boggles. Holding Lightning Bolt, not the best strategy. There's a Boggle. All right, sure. So that's a little unfortunate. We can just go right ahead and pitch these Lightning Bolts. <laughs> so let's Looting see what we find we find an evolving wilds and a pulse so yeah so we'll pitch crusher and probably pitch this lightning bolt i think by, t by the time we have anything to do with it okay so you want to we should hold on to the burn huh i don't know i think i'm gonna pitch this lightning bolt i think like getting some creatures down is good 
we'll be able to cast this Gorger next turn and start attacking. And we can get back the Ulamox Crusher and kind of buffer our life total a little bit. I think I'm going to do that. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I agree. So we'll play Evolving Wilds. This will be fetching red mana. We'll pass the turn. And yeah, let's see the enchantments opponent. Oh yeah, hopefully. Armadillo Cloak kind of sucks here, obviously. Ooh, glad to have those electricries in the sideboard. And glad not to see just some like ethereal armor shenanigans here. For sure. Opponent probably kind of wondering what's coming here. <laughs> the sketchy thing about Boggles is that they can go on defense pretty good too. So search for tomorrow will tick down. We will get our search. Go get a forest. Draw a forest. Hmm. Okay, so let's cycle this Forgotten Cave. Draw a Firebolt. That's not going to do a whole lot. It can go a little ways to burning them out. We'll cast this Baloth Gorger and pass the turn. So I'm feeling kind of okay with where our hand is, especially where we can flash back this Fatal Suiting if we draw something kind of irrelevant. Pitch this... Uh, Pitch this Firebolt to it. You know this Bailoth Gorger is going to be getting in. Dang it! Armadillo Cloak! <laughs> that is not good news. Alright, so our opponent doing pretty good work on our life total here. Um, yeah, so let's attack with Gorger. What's up, Clearly Confused? <laughs> We're clocking him. Let's put him on a clock. And we'll pulse back our Crusher this turn. So in that case, maybe we should just cast this Firebolt. I don't know that we'll find a better target for it. Especially if we're like pulsing here. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, I'm hot. I'm hot right now. Hot tamales. Uh, part of me kind of wants to pitch this to Faithless Looting and try to hit more threats. Because we can still pulse that way. It represents 4 burn damage. They're at 21 now. We have another 4, so 8, 13, 16, 12. Yeah, I think we're so far away we're going to at least need a couple more threats. So I'm going to flashback Faithless Looting. Okay, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's pitch Firebolt. We will... Pitch Expedition, and for now, we'll be okay with that. So we'll pass, and we're going to pulse a... Uh, pulse a... Oh, it's hard. I kind of want to pulse just, like, an Evolving Wilds or something, but uh, Heliod's Pilgrim. Additional auras. Slinging spells from the Sauna Zone. <laughs> How oh, many new problems are here slinging spells from the Sauna Zone? There's going to be a big old ledge walker. Yep. This is one of those awkward moments where it kind of doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> Getting in with that plant token, sending a message. Um, because they just, their life total is going to get so high. Like, we'll have to survive long enough to get multiple attacks with a Ulamox Crusher. But it is what it is. So we'll get back Crusher, go up to 14, find a Tranquil Thicket. Not what we were looking for. Um, so we'll cycle that right away forgotten cave hmm. all right so let's play out forgotten cave we will firebolt the pilgrim we kind of want we want enough creatures dead as well so that when we play crusher it actually matters oh we're doing the thing we're getting big we're going big <laughs> Although our, our opponent's on a little bit of an awkward Boggles draw, but this Solana Ledge Walker is going to be an issue, and we're going to have to start crushing pretty hard here. We're going to be winning this game. Sandworm will help. Yep. We're at seven. Yeah. I think we're dead! Yeah. That's unfortunate. But, and that was like a slow draw. All right, so let's hope we have a little bit of enchantment removal to get us all the way there. <laughs> We're trying to do the thing. All right, so we have a Wickerboro Elder. 
We've got Moments Piece, I guess, but I don't really know about that. We've got Swirling Sandstorm is probably pretty okay. Especially in tandem with the um the big crushers. So we do want to cast our creatures quickly here. I think this game is going to end too quickly for Tilling Tree Folk to matter. Um, so I'll take out Tilling Tree Folk for Wickerboro Elder. I will drop maybe... I don't know if Sandworm is really going to do it either. I kind of... I don't think Rolling Thunder is as good as I'm giving it credit for. I think Sandstorm is much better. So I'll bring a Sandstorm in. Oh yeah. Yeah, the Orox Herds. They're getting in, man. And I think we can drop firebolts we'll bring in one moments piece and we'll bring in an electricery and hopefully that extra little bit of interaction will take us all the way there so let's see <laughs> we'd love to play first <laughs> this is incredibly awkward this doesn't really do anything so i'm gonna mulligan uh, this isn't that bad. So I'll keep this, especially where we have Electricery. Oh, oh, the Bannerets. Yeah, the ones that the cost reduction for tribes. Those are actually pretty sweet. Like I've seen I've seen those cards do work. So, OK, so we got to hope for a not super fast draw from our opponent. We'll punish them with this Electricery. We'll keep. And we will. Definitely scry untap forest to the top. Play out this Forgotten Cave and pass the turn. We're essentially going to be leaving up Electricery forever. Abundant Growth, okay. So it's not a big deal. We will play out a Forest. If we can just target a Boggle with Electricery here, I might cycle this Tranquil Thicket. We can't target Boggles. Never mind! <laughs> That's why Electricery is good. <laughs> right? Yeah, so if they, if they like cast a Boggle and try to cast an Aura in response here, we might be able to get them. No, just more Abundant Growths. Okay. Sure. Let's see if they found a Bogle. So the no, <laughs> the, the no Bogle draw is something, or the no Boggle draw. To everybody just cringing their pants off over here. The no boggle draw isn't uh, isn't anything to be too afraid of. So we're going to go down kind of low on lands here. Not a big deal. Crop rotation, okay. Still can't commit a Sakura Tribe Elder here. Um, so we will just play Evolving Wilds, pass a turn. Plan to go get some green mana. And see if our opponent finds a Hexproof creature. We're definitely giving them a little more time than I'd like to. And Giants. Giants would be cool. A lot of Giant Matters cards out there. Alright, so let's play Steve. Pass the turn. Let the ramping begin. Dun 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 I think getting enough mana just matters a lot more than attacking for one every turn so i'm going to go get a forest turn comes back find a tap land so let's play a steve opponent not responding to our steves <laughs> we are giving them a hundred years we're gonna draw gas guys okay <laughs> Play Steve, spend a search for tomorrow, play out Smoldering Spires, and pass turn. I think our opponent is aware of our electricery. I don't know if they maybe have a way around it. They might just be waiting for a second Bogle or something, or second expert creature. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So let's get up to seven for our sandworms. And we'll eventually need eight for everything else. Suspend so ticks down. They're aware that we're leaving up mana for something. There's Sandstorm. Still not online, but a good draw nonetheless. Um, we'll pass the turn. We can get it online with our crop rotation. So we'll just pass here. Pretty happy that they haven't played anything and very happy to have answers to the first thing they do play. 
Hopefully they just draw terribly and we beat them. So let's get some big stuff going. Just a Bailoth Gorger would be so swell here. <laughs> um, we'll get another forest. What do we draw? Lands. Fantastic. Just go, go into your deck, find all your lands, and then find the rest of them. <laughs> I can't really complain, though. I feel like our opponent is... Uh, is <laughs> is having some trouble with their mana as well. <laughs> so this could tutor out a Radiant Fountain at this point. Like, we just want to thin our deck of lands. All right, there's a Glade Cover Scout, and we'll wait until they go to cast an enchantment and go ahead and Electricery. Right, okay, so let's Electricery, cast with Overload. So it should kill that. Armadillo Cloak Fizzles. And they'll go looking for another Boggle. <laughs> How many basics do I have left in the deck? <laughs> like, do I even play this here? Just one sec. I just got to check the deck really quick. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine basics. And we're up to seven basics. So... This is still relevant. We're going to pitch these two crop rotations <laughs> to, uh, to like, Faithless Looting or whatever if we find it. Swirly Boy Online. Correct. It's really awkward if we uh, go get an Evolving Wilds with this. <laughs> um, but I will go get a Radiant Fountain, especially while we're not using our mana. So let's go get a Radiant Fountain. Trigger Expedition. Yep. We only have two basics left in our deck, so we won't get an Evolving Wilds. Find a Steve. All right, cast a Steve that we will not be attacking with any longer. <laughs> or that we will not be sacrificing any longer and hope to kill them with the Steve Beats. I think Bounce Land's kind of neutral, I guess. Um, I can start going getting Bounce Lands now to return our... Okay, this is a little dangerous. We're in, we're in Danger Town. Because if they get this up above 4, then Swirling Standstorm no longer does it. So let's see if they can get it up above 4 Toughness. Uh, it's a 10-10. <laughs> it's a 17-17. <laughs> Now we've got to find Wickerboro Elder. So we'll sack this, go search, get a Karoo. And bounce our Radiant Fountain. <laughs> Trigger call on the expedition. <laughs> yep. And pass the turn. <laughs> You're the best deck. Okay, let's see if we die here. <laughs> Come on. No death one time. <laughs> they pretty much, yeah. And I think that does it, right? No, one more enchantment. One more enchantment. <laughs> I, think it, I think it really gives you those explosive starts. So here comes a 30-30 Solana Ledgewalker. No moment's peace for us. Yeah, we, I don't know. We could have, uh... We could have gone and found we could have found at least one of our big threats, but that's gonna be it. Pump fake our opponent a little bit. Get rid of the colony hearts to bring it down to a 28-28, but it's not enough. So we'll sack. We're done. Love to play first. Um yeah, ramp into an Aurox herd. Win the game with it. I like it. On the play. And I'm not gonna commit this Forgotten Cave right away because Sakura Tribe Elder can go find our red mana. So play for us, pass turn. I just appreciate that you did it. Like my my whole thing is uh is trying to find homes for new cards, like before they're just dismissed for no reason, you know? Like people don't even try. <laughs> they're like, nah, <laughs> that's no good. In vintage though? In legacy? Homie, they got force of will. 
All right, so turn one colony garden for our opponent. We're going to get the kind of crazy colony garden ramptastical going on here. So long as we hit one more land drop, which means I might even save the Steve sack for our turn, depending on what this is. This could be boggles again. This is like colony garden, mono colony garden boggles. I feel like I feel like it's you know the same as ramp decks in other formats. You probably kind of like prey on mid range. Oh my god, not a come on! <laughs> We're about to find out just how unlucky I was. <laughs> so play Steve. It can block Glade Cover Scout, which is definitely relevant here. <laughs> No, I, I still think blue is really powerful in other formats. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Like, you know, it's just really good. Dak Faden. Ancestral Recall. <laughs> There's like taking turns in modern. I, I think blue. Blue is a strong color. Maybe not so far and away as powerful as it is in this format, but... So, okay, so I will trade Sakura Tribe Elder with this Glade Cover Scout. What's up, Hyperion Darkness? Cool, uh, Borderlands reference. Hyperion, Borderlands, right? Did I do it? Did I get there? <laughs> How you doing tonight? Welcome to the Strizzle. <laughs> We're losing bad. <laughs> we played Blue Black Control, who certainly had the power to, uh, to kill all of our threats. And we've drawn a little badly, but... This might be the redeeming moment. Ooh, okay, so they're not gonna put more boggly fun time stuff on this. We can't get up to six mana next turn, so I still don't even know if I want to sack this Sakura Tribe Elder. Close! Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> Does it have anything to do with Shy Guy? I like Shy Guy too. I've got no other guesses. <laughs> Mass Effect? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Ah, they were stuck on mana, so this is going to be the Ethereal Armor. Ethereal Armor. And if that is the case, Steve's going to unfortunately hit the bin. Hit the bin pretty hard here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. First strike too, huh? Well, here we go. And Steve. Oh, it's from a band. Okay, what band? Firebolt looking hot right now. <laughs> um, Lightning Bolt also not doing a whole lot. It's And it's not like a fault of those cards. Those cards do do a lot of things. <laughs> Just not against Boggles. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Colony Heart Expedition goes all the way up. So we will pass. We're going to sack this on their end step. Hope we find an untapped land. We'll get to cast an Orox Herd and at least put a clock on them, but a few more choice enchantments is going to get them all the way there. What band, though? For some reason, that, that emote you just used reminds me of Real Big Fish, and I don't even know. Is that a... What is that? Is that a fish? Nope. <laughs> Balsagoth. Oh, cool. That's a really cool name. <laughs> How do we wind up like this? We've got to play an Ulamox Crusher to chump next turn, I think. <laughs> if we. So we die unless we, this Ulamox Crusher comes down. Cool, though. Man, I really got to start listening to some more metal. I like a lot of, like, Math Rock or, like, Math Metal. Terramelos, Polyphia. One, two. It's not enough mana to crush. Can't crush that, sure. Ugh. <laughs> Orox Herd soaks up four. We still take six. Jeez. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's okay. It's okay. Just a bunch of decks that we're incidentally kind of bad against. <laughs> so I'll bring this stuff in. We'll take out our targeted removal. And we might even want like a Nylea's Disciple or just like a big butt thing. Maybe I'll take out some expeditions because they are the enchantment deck. 
Yeah, and I'll just bring in like some Penumbra Spiders and an Ilea's Disciple. And, but I think we got a ramp to win here. <laughs> right? Right? The bad matchups are bad. <laughs> Maybe Nylea's Disciple isn't as good as the third Colony Heart. That way we can still kind of be explosive. So we'll try this out, see what happens. <laughs> we are getting bogged, man. We are getting bogged tonight. Um, Nothing to do with this green mana except maybe like crop rotation it's crop rotation for a mountain <laughs> faithful saluting um but it's not bad enough to ship it's like almost bad enough to ship but i think if we were going to mulligan it we'd be looking for an electricery and this faithful saluting will do a good enough job of that we just gotta hopefully stick a creature big enough to survive until then Right, yeah, it's it's really hard to hedge for all this stuff. But we're learning lessons. We're learning why oh man, seeing a bit seeing a bit clown. We should be here till around ten. <laughs> it, it yeah, it's been it's been pretty boggling that we've run into this many boggles decks in a row. <laughs> um yeah, okay. So no plays this turn. There's cruel turf. No lands that I want on the battlefield in particular. I guess it would have been okay to bounce a colony garden, but we need double green anyway. Or a uh, radiant fountain. Colony garden probably doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's definitely tough. So they'll probably cast a two mana boggle here. And we're drawing live to like electricery, I guess. But without that, <laughs> it's going to be touch and go here for a minute. All right, Solana Ledgewalker, yep. All good. Just another land. Okay, so let's Faithful Saluting first. I don't see this Crop Rotation doing anything. There's a Gorger to start. So we'll pitch Crop Rotation and probably pitch one of these or Oxherd. We might have to win the game with this if they're on a slow draw or something. I have to win the game with these if they're on a slow draw, but I think three should do it. <laughs> now, if three big derpy cows don't do the trick, I don't know what does. <laughs> we'll pass the turn. Can't block the Solana Ledge Walker. I mean, it's pretty much Invisible Stalker, right? <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be. Did you say back there that you beat Boggles in the league you played in your at your LGS? Yep. That is going to cause issues. We just gotta go bigger, team. Just gotta go bigger. <laughs> out of luck. Why did you say something? No, I'm kidding. I really did want to try Bailoth Gorger out. I wanted to see what it was all about. Mm hmm. They do. Absolutely do. All right, drawing live to, like, Swirling Sandstorm eventually. So we'll Saxacur Dry Boulder. Gets more red mana. Pass. A number Spider. That's not too bad, actually. But this doesn't... Oh, man, this gets around Reach as well? Ugh, that's so dumb. <laughs> um. All right, so... Let's Bailoth Gorger, and we'll cast an Evolving Wilds, play an Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Yeah, they did. Like, that second game of the last match, they were bricking, they are bricking hard, man. And uh, we still couldn't get them. Still couldn't draw the big beaters. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ancestral Mask, don't. Mm, still pretty bad. <laughs> Here comes a 6-6 six, six Flying Lifelinker. Or 6-6 six, six can only buy blocked by creatures that aren't Penumbra Spider. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gonna gain some life. Sacker Evolving Wilds. Wickerboro Elder might not be too bad here. We could find it. 
just more penumbra spiders. All right, so let's play this. Play penumbra spider. We'll find out if penumbra spider actually can block flying creature or can block Solana ledge walker for science <laughs> and what have you. <laughs> because reach might be templated. I might have got that wrong. Reach might be templated as can block as though it had flying. So we'll see. The thing is, is it doesn't have flying. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it can't, huh? <laughs> I didn't think so. All right, let's see if they got it. Let them get all the enchantments out there. They couldn't have been sandbagging that. Did they just draw that? Did my opponent draw the lethal ancestral mask? It can't. All right, cool. I want to have a peek, though. Um, yep, so it didn't look like help was on the way. So let's see how we draw. No. No, I do not think this will do. <laughs> we'll mulligan this. And this is better. This is a lot better, actually. So we will... Keep... Put that on top. Play out Colony Garden. Next turn, we'll commit Expedition, and then we'll start searching for tomorrow. Another green deck. Oh my goodness. If this is Boggles again. Okay, so it's Stompy. It's Stompy. We have blockers for Stompy. <laughs> All right, so let's cast Colony Heart Expedition. We're going to ramp like crazy here. We just have to find a threat off of this Tormenting Voice, and we might get there. So let's see what our opponent... How they feel about that. Going to attack for two. Is this Pit Skulk? I'm going to block. This Pit Skulk gets one extra damage every turn if this does get through. And this could change the pattern how my opponent plays. Do I play like a Korean Ranger or something instead here? Nah. All right. Nest Invader. So I'm trying to think of, as to whether I should suspend both of these or if I should just play Evolving Wilds, crack it, suspend one, and then hard cast the other one. But I think I will suspend both. Oof. All right. There's another Colony Heart Expedition. That makes things pretty interesting. So we'll play Colony Heart Expedition. Play Evolving Wilds. And always yes. Always yes. Always yield. And pass. We'll go get red mana with this. We can hard cast a Search for Tomorrow next turn. Um, crack both of these. Have just a jillion mana. And hopefully find something big enough to at least get in the way of our opponent's ground blockers. Maybe a Lightning Bolt aside. Or a couple of Flame Fire Bolts to deal with these threats. I think the Pit Skulk's going to come down here now. I hope so. Leaving it up to the deck. So deck, do your thing. Find me something tasty. <laughs> Please. Because if not, we might be dead as soon as next turn. Alright, so go get Mountain. Triggers. So do all this stuff. Untap. Tree folk. Okay, well that's not really doing anything right now. I guess we could play it as a blocker. Like at least get in the way of these. Like one of these, take five, six, seven, eight, nine next turn. <laughs> um, but I think if we do this, yeah, I think this is the only way we can not be dead, actually. So we'll tree folk. The best way to be far away from dead, or farther away from dead. Get back evolving wilds, yeah. Play Evolving Wilds. Just hope for some good draws. <laughs> Especially off this Tormenting Voice. We'll go get red mana with it. With this or these. We're going to have tons of different, all different colors and flavors of mana. So I don't know if our opponents got us on a kicked vines here, but they might. Firebolt could do a lot of work here. We kill two of their creatures. Kicked vines. Is that it? One, two, five nine so they're gonna hit for 11 <laughs> yep we're down to two gotcha pretty precarious situation to be in so we'll get a mountain we'll crack our expeditions i guess rolling thunder wouldn't be too bad here either rolling thunder probably pretty okay if we draw it off the top at least faithful saluting Ugh. 
Okay. So let's Faithful Suiting here. We'll preserve as much mana as we can, just in case we do draw into more untapped red mana. This isn't good. This isn't good, team. So we'll do this, and we've got to draw... I think we're probably just dead. So we'll pitch this Colony Heart Expedition, and we're dead. God! <laughs> Getting stomped. All right, so Swirling Sandstorm, Rolling Thunder, and Moments Peace definitely come in. Probably an Ilya's Disciple or two. So we're going to slow right down here. Um, I think crop rotation is too slow. Although it can get Radiant Fountain and can give protection from green, which is kind of interesting, but I still don't think I want it. Um, we might have to Tilling Trifo for value later on. I probably take out the Bayloth Gorgers. Unfortunately, the card we're testing out tonight. Probably take those guys out. And maybe drop like one Orox Herd because we're trying to stabilize and use our sparse blockers to win the game. So let's hope we draw a bunch of removal. We have an Ilya's Disciple. This isn't great. This isn't great, but it's okay. So I'll keep. Yeah, but uh, man, yeah, that, that could have been correct to take it out. The reason I didn't, just to justify it, which might not be the correct reason, is because uh, I think we need like enough big threats to win. Although, <laughs> that might not be reason enough. Like, resolving one early, not drawing a million search for tomorrow's would have been helpful. But resolving one early would be uh, a great way for us to kind of claw back into this. So let's see. Burning Tree. Oh, they got that stompy draw. Yep. And here comes... Another Vault Scourge? Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Sure. Man, this deck's looking good tonight. All right. So. Hmm. So we'll play a land. Firebolt, the Vault Scourge. Suspend to search for tomorrow's. And pass the turn. We'll try to kill this other flyer, and then we can get this down. Firebolt was a good draw. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody. Come on in for the uh, for the free ticks on Tuesday night. Ooh, double <laughs> double ranker on the Vault Scourge. What I wouldn't have given for a uh, a lightning bolt to do something about that. All right, let's see if we can't find us some removal spells. Oh, my computer might be dying. <laughs> all right let's keep going let's pretend only a little bit of that happened <laughs> all right pulse pulse not bad not bad um we're not going to be able to kill this this turn we can play a blocker for this so i think that's what i'll do <laughs> there you go your deck broke moto um i kind of wouldn't mind this dying so that i can pulse it back and us just being dead next turn is kind of a reality I have to live with, so. But I don't know. I think I'm just going to. Tree Folk back the Evolving Wilds. And we'll cast it. Do a little bit more thinning. And hope that gets us there. All right. So cast Evolving. Play Evolving Wilds. That's the second time I've allegedly cast an Evolving Wilds tonight. And here comes BTE. Or it might not even attack. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to attack. <laughs> sure. Yep. Yep. Not dead to a kicked vines. Not feeling fantastic either, though. That was a weird attack. We are going to have an opportunity to gain a fair amount of life here. So go get a forest. So here comes the searches. What do you think about Jotty Offshoot? Maybe I like Jotty Offshoot a little bit too much. You should though. You should though, Lobert. <laughs> I need it. I need it tonight. 
Let's get in with the lols, gang. <laughs> lols stream. Um, yeah, let's get a little bit more red mana, just in case we have to, like, try to loot into a board wipe at some point. Yep. Here comes search. <laughs> Yep. Even Swirling Sandstorm isn't like terrific here. It's okay. Moments Piece is pretty good. Um. All right. So. Hmm. I think we're gonna kill this, or we're gonna try to kill this. I'm okay with doing it now because if they do waste a vines trying to protect it, then. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Firebolt, your Vault Scourge. Which isn't like that problematic for them because they're just going to rank or something else up. I'd really be okay with them using a Vines here. <laughs> sure, okay. So there's Vines. All right, yep, yep. Rule Turf, pick up. A forest and fast turn. Swing for lethal on myself with Tilling Tree Folk. <laughs> yep, yep. Don't imagine they'll commit any more pump spells here because they win. So block like this. Pass priority back, one moment's piece. And we can't take damage this turn, fortunately enough. So let's start gaining life and hopefully, hopefully finding some more interactive spells. River Boa. All right. Yep. Start getting them to waste mana on this, I guess, if it does want to attack. <laughs> Rolling Thunder, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seems pretty good to me. <laughs> Let's play a land. And rolling thunder. So we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can dome you for one as well. <laughs> Alright, one, two, and that's taking one. Those are that's taking two, and that's taking one. So, okay, we'll do it like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And best tree folk, here he comes. <laughs> Hashtag stable. <laughs> so we got to hope our opponent's on a bunch of pump spells that don't matter, or a bunch of X ones that can't attack through tree folk. Ledgewalker, yep. That can attack around tree folk. Um, all right, so I don't think we want to sandbag this any longer, so we will cast it. Mm, we might as well cast this before. So let's cast Colony Heart Expedition. And yeah, there's no other way for us to get any more value out of this, so we will cast this. Leave up moments piece. Go to combat. Swing, swing with telling true folk. <laughs> Opponents at twenty seven. <laughs> We're at nine. Pulse in hand though. Be pretty sweet to just put this in front of something and then pulse it back. So here comes a bunch of rankers. <laughs> oh, elephant guide. Sure. Yep. Can attack with a big flyer. Sure will. We'll take four. Two rankers in hand. So. Things are going to have to go particularly well here. Cycle this, find a land. Okay. So, play the land, tick up expedition. Yep. Go to combat. Attack with these guys. For four. Pass the turn. kind of having there's like a little internal conflict right now going on as to whether i should moments piece or pulse here but i'm probably going to end up moments piecing i guess i could do both to try to bait out whatever this last card is but 
Yep, it's going to attack. So the, for that reason, I probably shouldn't pulse. Uh, we'll moments piece in blocks. <laughs> yeah, I think it is moments piece as well. So we'll moments piece and pass the turn. No mono green counter magic, thankfully. Yep. Precariousness intensifies. Um, be interesting to like just get this dead somehow and pulse it back. <laughs> I wish we had that luxury. Um, this isn't really doing anything here. So I think I'm going to hold on to it for looting effects. We will pass the turn. I'm probably supposed to pulse back Fertile Thicket. So that's what I'm going to do. We'll pulse back Fertile Thicket. Exactly. Cycle Fertile Thicket. Find another land deck. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> And I, we're pretty close to dead here. Um, yeah. So Faithless Looting is a card. We'll hold on to these. We've got lots of mana. That was our moments piece. Swirling Sandstorm could get us back in this somehow. Somehow, some way. If we just stop, keep coming up funky. Every single day. Copy struck. Imagine. All right. <laughs> Threatening has intensified. <laughs> this is definitely not net benefits. <laughs> there has been very little benefiting tonight. <laughs> Swirling Sandstorm, come on. Digga digga da. Digga 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 da da. Digga digga da. Da, 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 da. We're dead. You know me though. Proponent of the jank. <laughs> Mono Delver. Now and now we've got all our threats and no way to get to them. So we have Bayloth Gorger. All we have to do is hit a fourth land. We have a redraw, so I actually think I'm gonna keep this. Yep. Banana hammock, not gonna play their land. Wise. Come on, one land spy. <laughs> One land spy, one time. <laughs> How'd they sneak through with this username? <laughs> one land spy, one time. No land. Ah, dang it. And it looks like it's probably, I would assume, something like burn. So we'll play land pass. Ramp is a terrible top deck when you're relying on a giant threat to stabilize in a format with counter spell. Ooh, Rakdos something or other. Rakdos Kiln Fiend. Welp. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna crop rotation for red mana. We might hit a lightning bolt. And it makes use of our mana this turn. Uh, is there anything else that could win on the nut draw against them? Probably not, so I'll get a mountain. <laughs> GG good leak. <laughs> That's it though. You you really do have to be prepared for that. All right. So we didn't find an answer. Let's do some looting. Still no answers. We will <laughs> uh pitch herd pitch Mm. Faithless looting, I guess, and play Forgotten Cave past the turn. <laughs> they might have us. They might have us here. <laughs> yeah, fast X. I guess. Uh, I guess the meta came out to play tonight. The meta came out to show us why you can't wait two turns to get your game plan online, and then subsequently not draw into your game plan. The decks are just stupid fast. Let's see what Banana Hammock's got. <laughs> they do have a swamp. Yeah. 
And here comes Comfian. Do you win? By ruin swipe. Lava Dart. Opponent just hacking a dart over here. It's like Lava Dart, Lava Dart by Ruin Strike. Is that what is that what the plan is? That's kind of scary. That could kill me. Well, let's go look for a lightning bolt. Or anything to kill this kiln fiend. Ugh! <laughs> That'll kill the kiln fiend next turn, I guess. Okay. Pass turn. And hope we're not dead. So we very well could be. Free spell, burn spell, battle rage. That's interesting. I will find them additional kiln fiends. And what do we got? Dur oh, come on. <laughs> no, you can't have it. You can't have this rolling thunder. It's mine. Go away. Get out of my head. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> ah, frig. <laughs> I think they might have us here. So, by rule, strike for the win. Is that what we're looking at here? In they come. They know the coast is clear. This is a cool deck. Quicksand. I, yeah, man, the, the four mana put a counter on him guy. I have. That was a good league. That deck looks good. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess we shouldn't just scoop. So... We'll keep our, mm, yeah. Pitch like this, and a fast turn. <laughs> they only got two cards in hand. I guess they have Lava Dart flashback. So they need Lava Dart and another... <laughs> Steve, Steve's not doing it. I could have just hard cast Baloth Gorger, hope this didn't have Trample, but I think that's a good enough strategy this turn if they can't kill us. And we just have to dig for that answer, man. Come on, opponent, no slow rolls. Just rolls. Yeah. Now, they might not see the, the Lava Dart line. I don't know. <laughs> they didn't see the Lava... Well, they... I mean... How... What? Lava Dart FT dub? Lava Dart FT dub? Turns out, yeah. All right, cool. So, all the removals, moments peace as well. Nylea's disciple, swirling sandstorm, rolling thunder. Um, Electricery is not going to do anything. I don't think relics worth bringing in. Um, we'll do this, and we'll take out tree folk. Too slow. Probably take out crop rotations. Take out a Call Me Hard Expedition or... And one Oryx Herd. All right, let's try it like this. <laughs> they're, they're red, uh, they're red black. So nothing to counter with the Pyroblast. Unless, unless they're like Grixis Kiln Fiend somehow. I don't think so. I didn't see any blue cards pitched to Faithless Looting there. What's up, Darkies Bean? Oh, no. Really? So I thought, I thought like a single Orox was was how it was all right let's do it like this Ugh. <laughs> this isn't doing anything uh it's got a radiant fountain it's got a moment's piece i think i'm okay keeping this and it's got a blocker in colony garden pulse don't need that right now <laughs> Guys, let's take a match, please. Or <laughs> like a game. <laughs> I'm not asking for much. Let's find out. Let's find out what happens. 
What if they're just running Kiln Fiends? Bolt the plant token. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, no, man. The <laughs> things have not drawn well um, in that sense. And it's weird because like I have the four filtering spells. <laughs> Match is asking too much. I've got all the filtering spells and stuff. Like, I'm just, I'm kind of shocked that, uh, and we really have, like, in that blue-black control game, our opponent just got crazy lucky. In Boggles, we drew really, in, like, match, game two of match one of Boggles, we drew really badly. I think, I think there was some bad luck involved tonight, but at the same time, you can't just, uh, you can't hope for luck against hyper-aggressive decks. Ooh, opponent's gonna be on the two-turn Soul Eater win. Well, sir, you can guarantee I'm getting in the way of this with a heckin' plant token. Um, yeah, let's play Evolving Wilds. Get our triggers on Colony Garden, or Colony Heart Expedition. I just... <laughs> they can't block the plant token. Get them. We were on the turn two Soul Eater kill all along, opponent. Little did you know. And if everything goes wrong, we can always Moments Peace. Oh, yeah. Come on. Show me the money. Or something big to cast eventually. Or just a removal spell for this. I mean, we're at 22. <laughs> they can pump it nine times, go down to two themselves. Team or battle rage it, and then we're dead to bolt. <laughs> But I guess we're dead if they have team or battle. Like, is there even any point to block with this plant token? If it's team or battle rage, it doesn't really matter. It might matter. Lavadart, man. Lavadart's a hell of a... Hell of a drug. Alright. You have smashed. We have successfully saved a point of damage. Now that's... That's interesting. <laughs> Oh, Singular is Aurochs. Okay. <laughs> well, do you want to stick around, Dark is Bean? <laughs> Although I do appreciate the heads up as well. All right, let's see what happens. Pulse Del Marasa. Well, the ramping will continue. And I'm probably going to... I don't even know. Uh, tap land. <laughs> and we'll always, yes, always yield this. And I don't even know if I want to snap off the faith Faithless Looting here, especially where I might pitch this pulse and I'll need it. No, I, I think I can. You always loot, right? More searches. I think we'll keep Steve. I don't know that I'll need both of these. So we'll do it like that, and pass turn. So if our opponent goes all in with their four cards in hand, tries to kill us. Or goes to two, and we kill him with a Steve. <laughs> we will not be fogging until we're dead. Oh yeah, do it all on attack step too, so I don't even have to wonder. <laughs> yep. Here it comes. Pump it. Pump, pump it up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And another soul leader. Sure. So a whole lot of anything right here. Be pretty tight. <laughs> um, we'll get some forests. Looting, not necessarily tight, but I've I've seen worse. So we'll faithless looting. See what we find. Probably don't need this. Um, yeah, we don't want this. And mm, maybe we'll pitch the Steve planning to moments piece and then pulse it back. So let's pitch Steve and land. Firebolt, the Soul Eater. And pass turn. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Firebolt gonna be pretty good here. When I can't cast any of the black spells. Here comes Soul Eater. Now we just need huge threats to close things out. That's so much to ask. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it apparently is, and especially today. So opponent's going to for us good. <laughs> it even crashed once. It really wasn't having a good night. Yep. And it's our turn. So I think I'll pulse back Steve here. Yeah. And Steve can trade with this. So at least we got that going for us. <laughs> Freaking quicksand. That's that, that's that low-key tech against Steve. Swirling Sandstorm, still happy to see it. Not going to fire it off here. So we will choose this permanent. Pay five. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, dang it, we can't cast Steve now. Bummer. It's a little sketchy. But we're going to do it. So one, two, three, four, five. And hopefully they don't have like a, I don't know, Apostle's Blessing or something? Apostle's Blessing into we die? They didn't, so, okay. Stability. Stability. <laughs> Steve is impatient. All right, our opponent is on blanks. Good. Nice. Guys, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now let's cast a bunch of Aurochs herds and win the game with them. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see Orox before. All right, cool. Pass it on over. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Let's take a game. Let's take a game here with the Orox. <laughs> yep. So our opponent might stand some chance at killing this at some point. Um,. But we're going to attack anyway. They might like quicksand, a combination of quicksand and lightning bolt. But if we two for one them on an Orox herd, oh baby. Got him. <laughs> Orox herd. I sideboarded one of these out. thought they were too slow. <laughs> Finally, the removal against a deck without hexproof. <laughs> I'm saying it right too, Dark is being. <laughs> Swirling Sandstorm getting out of here soon. Just as soon as I'm done casting all these Aurochs. Man, a little life gain? There's no point to cast that here. Okay. Go through. Lots of backup if things go bad. Oh, guys. Suncrown Hunters might continue to be the only O10 deck I've ever played. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to look for value and fail to find. <laughs> just to like deeply punished for sideboarding out an Orox herd <laughs> we got him did we get there we do have rolling thunder for lethal all right got him <laughs> so yeah so let's just keep on that plan hopefully all of our removal will do well electricity is probably better than i think it is but i liked that Guys, we're on the board. <laughs> Take that, Jank. <laughs> you you probably could, would be surprised at how deeply relieved I am by that win. <laughs> like deeply. Oh, Mono, no! Okay. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, we got a Nylea's Disciple and two Expeditions. So these, I don't know. I don't know. We could die. 
We could die. This is a lot of ramp. <sighs> I'm going out swinging. I got my game. <laughs> Opponent on black. The rest? Sure. <laughs> this is an interesting little... Like, I would take these because of Nylea's Disciple. Yeah. All right. Cool. No big. NBD opponent. Oh. <laughs> Finally, all the ramp and a ramp payoff. So we'll suspend search for tomorrow. Pass the turn. See what opponent's on. No, nah, they got it all. Well, let's pray for some removal while they hunt for threats. Yeah, if we see it. <laughs> it's a tall order. <laughs> There's only like 100 removal spells in the deck after sideboard. Well, there goes some stuff. They could find their threat now. This is an opportunity to do so. Yep, search for tomorrow takes it down. There's another search for tomorrow. Man, let's crush it, guys. <laughs> Pass the turn. Yeah, another search isn't bad. Mm hmm <laughs> Let's go. I don't even know if I have enough basics for that. Seven? Seven basics? So we'll have to find a non-basic between now and then. That is an Evolving Wilds. All right, opponent, what have you got? <laughs> a threat? Faithful Saluting. Yes. Just flash this back. Is this Gurmog Angler? Oh no. <laughs> Brig. <laughs> there it is. All right, so here comes Search for Tomorrow. Tick. I mean, Crusher might still be able to do it. Let's get some more red mana. Tick up Colony Garden. Yep. Find a bolt. It's not going to do it this second. Um, we'll cast search for tomorrow. Go get some green mana. Tick up. Yes. Play Evolving Wilds. Tick up. And it sucks that we have to crack this before we do anything. But so this gets two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll still have to an untapped land to Ulamog's Crusher. Which is pretty unlikely with what we're doing here, but we can chump it. Yeah, this this combined with this might do work against this next turn. But we gotta hope they don't find more threats. Although they could. Alright, here comes Gurm Daddy. Yep. The Gurm Daddy. <laughs> yep. And have might might have a little awkward fail to find moment here soon. Double battle rage, yeah, that works, right? <laughs> quadruple, quadruple strike. They have a nigh heal spell bomb that doesn't really matter to us right now. Untap land, no. <laughs> so we'll cast expedition. <laughs> And we'll cast Nylea's Disciple, gain some life, leave up Block Bolt, Shenans, and be very low on resources. Hopefully they don't have their own Lightning Bolt for this. Come on. <laughs> All right. Sure. All right, opponent, what have you got? Attacking with an angler. You can and will. It's interesting that their clock is still pretty good, even with this crusher on board. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, four oxer. 
go find an Orox herd. We're just going to find lands now, guys. <laughs> They're here to save the day. <laughs> Hopefully. And they don't have to attack each combat if able. So at least we got that going for us. So F6. Our opponent can't lightning bolt this one. They might have an edict effect or something. Which is bad, but not game over. As far as I can tell. Really glad this replaces itself. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Sure. So let's see if our opponent is on mono removal. <laughs> I'm more glad it ate this than this. Let's see what happens. Yep, opponent plays a land, two cards in hand. Probably shouldn't auto yield because they might duress and I want to bolt in response. Yep. Going down to multiple lightning bolts range. Not a good place to be. Oh, what if this is like Teamer Battle Rage? Oh my gosh. Teamer Battle Rage, Gurmog Angler, give it my Ruin Swipe. That could be the plan. Yep, they're going to draw off my Heal Spell Bomb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's this? Another Angler. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> F. <laughs> Orox herd. <laughs> Go get an Orox herd. I think we have a third, right? Yep. Last turn. <laughs> we could, man. We could. They might have a three mana or a one mana plus three plus three pump spell, though, which would definitely do the trick. And I think they have a number of those. Yep. Here they come. <laughs> and Ninjutsu in Okiba Gang Shinobi. <laughs> They're also a bolt deck, so they could have a bolt here. Is this it? Plus three, plus three, and trample. That's it, guys. Oof. All right. Red, green, ramp. 